According to this affidavit, police were able to track the suspect down because she lost her hat. Here at the scene of the attack, that hat had the Indiana Department of Corrections stitched around the border along with the suspect's name written on the tag. Answering a late night knock at the door earlier this month, a woman found herself ambushed and stabbed to death at this apartment complex on Indy's west side. 24-year-old Victoria Cook died after having her throat cut and a second victim, Dylan Dickover, tried to stop the attack but died after he was stabbed in the leg, severing a major artery. Three other people were inside the apartment that night and survived, but none of them knew the attacker. According to court records, after finding a state-issued hat at the scene, police tracked down the accused killer, Kristen Wolf, and found a two-page note in her home in Madison. In that note, police claim Wolf wondered what it would be like to kill someone and how she took inspiration from serial killers, adding she didn't want to kill someone she knew and she wasn't planning to die but was prepared for it. A short signed will was also attached. This is definitely going to be an insanity defense. Attorney Jack Crawford isn't connected to the case but expects the issue of Wolf's mental health to raise other questions. If she suffers from a serious mental disease, what was she doing working as a guard for the Indiana Department of Correction? My guess is she doesn't have much of a mental history or else she wouldn't be working there. Police arrested Wolf at her job at the Madison Correctional Facility. During a short interview, she denied being in Indianapolis the day of the murder. A spokesman with the DOC confirmed Wolf was employed by the state until just five days ago writing her employment was terminated based on allegations of criminal actions being investigated by IMPD. Finally, Wolf remains behind bars tonight at the Marion County Jail. She's being held without bond and is due in court later this week. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News.